Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem six in chapter thirty one. Chapter thirty one is about Maxwell equations and electromagnetic waves. There we have air gap com compactor, and then it has a circular planes. The radius is given. The separation is given. The frequency is also given, and also the power supply is applied to the compactor. Right? The power supply's EMF is given in this equation. Now, first one ask you to find the maximum displacement. Co uh, the maximum displacement current is also given. Ask you to find the maximum conduction current. There we can consider the current is conserved, right? So what is current getting maximum displacement current, and what is get out at this uh, Chernoff's junction rules maximum conduction current. So this there is part we can get the maximum conduction current. I max just equal to maximum displacement current, so we write it there, right? Second part, we need to find the value of epsilon naught. So where is epsilon naught? It is a maximum voltage for the power supply, right? Yes. See, this epsilon naught is also maximum, and then this is the given quantities we list there. This is maximum. We also know maximum of current. So the key part for this one is you can understand. This is we look at the maximum current and then to do calculations to find epsilon naught. This is maximum voltage, right? So now how can we get a start from the maximum current? So we can see in this case the voltage changes with time. The current also changes with time. Mm -hmm. And so the maximum current is get given, so we can find the function for current with time, right? As we know, this one, the current is a dQ over dt, the change of the charge divided by time taking. Now this Q is the charge on the capacitor. We can write it as a capacitance times V voltage of this uh, capacitor. See, this is given as epsilon naught cosine omega t zero. Right. Now we can do this calculation for current dq over dt by this equation. So this is uh, do the derivation with t. So cosine becomes a negative sine, right? And then omega come out. So the term look like this one. Now in this uh, equation, you can see the current is a function with time t. So the maximum value for the current i should be c epsilon naught omega, c epsilon naught omega, right? Now in this equation, you can see i max is given at zero. C is the capacitance. We can calculate it by use epsilon naught a divided by d. A is uh, pi r square because this is circular planes, and uh, the next one omega is angular frequency. We can write it as two pi f, right? So only unknown quantity is epsilon naught. So we do this calculation together. We can say epsilon naught is i max divided by c times omega, and input c and the omega inside, right? And then c we uh, simple simplifies. It. We make it organized more simple, right? And then next one, we replace A as a pi r squared. So now we can input all the given quantities, get answer there. Mm -hmm. The next one asks you to find the maximum value for d phi e over dt between the plants. See, this term looks very, very similar. Can you remember where we said? The definition about the displacement current, right? Yes, this they tell you the maximum displacement current is given, so we can come from the displacement current equal to epsilon naught d phi over dt. Now we need to know the maximum of d phi over dt, so that is I d maximum divided by epsilon naught. This uh, maximum displacement current is given, so you input it inside divided by epsilon naught, you get the answer there. Thank you.